Howdy folks, uh, thanks for taking a look today at our blog and uh, what we're going to be covering today is Solid Edge's 2D environment, uh, specifically the schematics, uh, which a lot of people didn't really even know existed. Uh, I had a couple requests uh, to uh, do this to actually show some of the capabilities. Uh, so I will do that today and uh, let's go ahead and get it started. Alright, so where do our 2D blocks reside in Solid Edge? Alright, so inside on my pathfinder or my sidebar right here I want to look at a pathfinder tool I'm looking for a library All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pin that so if you don't see library in your list uh, go under view and look under panes and make sure you actually have it on uh, if it's not on if that if the icons not orange it means it's not on uh, so make sure that's on because you want to go ahead and access the library that's built in and that is located under Again, this is if Solid Edge is, lo if is loaded in the default. So C program files, Solid Edge SD7. So inside the SD7 folder, we have a sample block folder. And here we go. So inside that sample block folder, there's three other folders currently. Uh, you should have by default and a file. That's for, uh, that's for title blocks, but uh, we don't really need that. We just need our blocks here. Uh, so inside these folders, there is another set of multiple drafts and each one of these has a, a series of uh, blocks to go with them. If you want to look at them, you can open up the draft file. You can actually modify them here if you wish. Uh, so let me zoom this in. So these are the blocks that are in there. And again, these are simple lines you can, uh, you can unblock and do modifications to. Really don't want to, so I'm going to go ahead and not say that. If you want to see these blocks up close, uh, we have this little window here. So if you don't see this, you may have show blocks turned off. So if I uncheck it, you notice uh, that little window goes away and I don't see uh, what I'm seeing in the templates. So I'm going to go ahead and say show blocks, turns this window on, and now I can see the little symbol that I'm picking on. So let's go back up to something I'm more familiar with. Uh, let's look under piping. I'm going to go ahead and do a little pipe run here. Uh, you know, of course, you can create your own template. In our, own, our own folders with your own blocks in there. So what I did, I created uh, this. Here's a block right here. So I'm going to create uh, another. I'm going to create another block here. So again, I'm just going to use Solid Edge sketching tool, same tool you use to draw parts and sheet metal with. So nothing new. And uh, let's go ahead. I'm going to make this a little pump here. And let's go ahead and put inlet outlet on this pump. That'll work. All right, there we go. So pretty simple. So now let's go ahead. I got two uh, two of these. And I'm going to make blocks out of them. So the first thing I want to do is give them a label. You notice this has uh, boiler 500 on it. So I'm going to make this my uh, out output tank. So let's create a label. So I'm going to make a block label. And you notice what we have in here. We have uh, the ability to tie our values to uh, something you would normally see that uh, populates your title blocks and your bill of materials. These are coming from properties. These are actually coming from uh, uh, variables. So you can actually add intelligent uh, links that would change based on some parameter. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and just put my own values in here for now. So I'm going to call this uh, just a general name, tank. And let's give it a more specific value. We'll call this output tank. And let's see. Uh, over here, we have some options uh, to ask for value when placing during block placement. Yeah, I'm going to leave that on. I'll sh Actually, you know what? Let's turn this off. I'm going to do that on the second one. I'll show you. I'll just leave that one. I'll say uh, block position. There we go. And I'll just go ahead and place it as tank. If you want to center it in both axes, just touch both little key points, and I know I'm dead center. So let's make a block out of that again. Asking for a location for our input, uh, we'll call this uh, tank one. Just block name doesn't really matter. And now you know there's our value output tank. All right. And the last one we're going to create is a little label for the pump.
And this one, I'm going to say, ask for value during part placement. And I'm just going to put that right below it. And lastly, make a block of it. And just a center point to populate. Uh, we'll just call it again, uh, pump one. There you go. So this is, you'll notice, a different what you got than the first block I created. So this is going to pop up if we use this again. All right, so you notice we got a value of 150 horsepower pump. Yay. All right, done. All right, so let's, again, we have these graphs with uh, our uh, symbols in them. What if we want to create our own? Simple enough. We can just go back uh, to the top level. Uh, just right-click in there and say, you know what, let's create a new folder. And... Uh, how about my blocks? And let's go ahead and just use all these. Control C, copy them, and oops, I think I hit Control X. No problem. I can go ahead. Again, these are right here <coughs> in this. Uh, so I can put my boiler back here. All right, so that's good. And uh, put the tank. Uh, so the tank, remember we placed it and we, s we told it not to ask for a value. All right, so let's say I put my tank there and the pump, pump one, let's put a pump here. And again, I told this one to ask for a value, so if I wanted to change it, I could do that. You know what, let's go ahead and say okay. And uh, let's place another one, a little larger scale. So let's say we have two pumps in line. Let's make this one 1 1.5 scale. We'll place it and you know what, we'll call this one... 200 horsepower pump. Done. All right, so every time I bring another one in, it's going to ask me for a new name. So uh, if you have unique values, tank one, tank two, tank three, etc., you can do that. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, lay these out and let's start connecting them and bringing some other symbols in. All right. So let's go back up a folder. Back to my piping. Flange pipe. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to open that. All right, I uh, just wanted to click it down here. There we go. So uh, let's start pulling in some of these uh, symbols for valves and all these good things. So let's. Uh, there we go. Let's go with that. Again, we can scale it. Let's go ahead and make that a little bit bigger. Double scale that. Or actually, slightly smaller than that. Let's go 1.5. That'll work. Uh, let's place that one there. Maybe a T. We'll go there. Maybe another, maybe safety valve. Uh, that looks pretty good. All right, so let's go with that. And uh, what we can do is start rotating these. So let's say I want this safety valve coming out of the top of this boiler. Uh, what I'm going to do is, again, use my little uh, sketching tools. Let's go ahead and rotate this. I'm going to leave two on the screen, so I'm just going to rotate with a cop. Oops, I did not copy that. Very straight, sorry. So let's actually let me do that again. And again, uh, what it was, what as I was saying, I was going to leave copy on. So if you don't want to make a copy of it and just rotate it, you can do that. Uh, so let's say on this uh, one we want to uh, rotate it, but uh, not copy it. So I'll uncheck that box and thereby just cop moving that instead of uh, copying it. All right. So let's uh, start using some snap tools. So I'm going to come over here and uh, connect it. So I'm going to use my relate tools. I'm going to say, you know, let's go ahead and snap that to a uh, uh, point on the tank here. That'll work. And uh, let's just go ahead and position this. Let's say we have a, uh, something from the pump going out. So let's start adding some, uh, you know, again, you notice uh, these don't have any uh, properties, but if I go right-click right -click properties, you can go in there and add your own uh, name and value right here. Let's call this uh, uh, name. Let's call it uh, T. 
and just say T1. And if you wanted to add an actual a uh, block label, you can do that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and call this one uh, valve. And call it valve. Valve one. Ask for position during part placement. So that you know, if you wanted to do that again, uh, let's go ahead and uh, place that onto the left side of it and create a block. And okay. So valve one. There we have it. <coughs> All right. So how do we start connecting these up? All right. So we have under our uh, home tab. You notice we have uh, connectors. All right, so let's go ahead and start connecting some of these together and uh, start running some paths. So we have, of course, the ability to change the line types of all our connectors, the line thicknesses. So uh, do we want arrows on the ends? So if we want to show flow direction, we can do that. Uh, let's just say, oh, yeah, yeah. No, let's actually create a, I actually need an elbow here. Let's, uh, let's do that. Let me. Uh, connect that. Sorry, let me do a little bit more layout here. There we go. Let's, uh, and let's see, what was I doing? I'm putting up elbow. And let's place that right there. And let's again rotate that. I don't leave the copy on. Oops, got the wrong part. Let's rotate that, not the actual pump or the. There we go. Let's try to get out of the way for now. All right, so let's start uh, now connecting these. So I have the ability to go into the pump. So. Get under sketching or the home tab, we have the same command. So connectors, uh, let's do a straight line out. And uh, let's go uh, blank on the way in. And let's go arrow filled on the way out. And let's just connect that to that. And of course, we can drag that straight. And uh, let's go ahead and position the... Uh, do the same thing on the actual pump. So from here, here, and uh, there we go. That looks good. And let's connect the uh, line the T up. Let's use a let's just say horizontal vertical. Let's go from there to. I actually don't want to do that. Let's actually go to the center. There, there we go. Now we're dead on center. Uh, now I can keep those together. I don't have to do this. I don't have to do the relationship if you wanted to, but I want that to stay together always. So, uh, oops, I don't want to go from there. I want to go from output. So let's go from here into there. And uh, let's say from uh, here we go up to the top of the boiler from our safety to, to safety valve. Let's do a corner. So I could go up, and I could go over, and then I could just do a straight line down. There we go. That looks good. And let's say this one goes to the other pump. So let's do that. And uh, let's say we actually have to cross at some point. So let's do a little jumper here. So we know we have to go up. Actually, let's do, sorry, let's do the uh, corner. Make sure I get the right location. There we go. I know I want to do a jumper, so there we go. So now let's do that. Sorry. Oops, not corner. Jump. And drag it there. We know we have to jump across this one again. So let's say we know we have to cross these paths at some point. So don't worry about connecting them right now. I'm just going to look for a center point here, then go straight in. We'll just say straight line. 
There we go. Now let's go ahead and connect these. You notice when I pick it, we get this little dot so I can tell it to go ahead and attach there. And of course, this one, did I get on it? Let's make sure it stays attached. There we go. So if I move uh, any of these around, you notice the jumper moves with it. And let's make sure that stays straight. There we go. So that all looks good. Don't need these extra ones. Let's get rid of these. All right, so now let's go ahead and create a, uh, a bomb based on this. Uh, blocks I have. So let's create a uh, part list. And uh, I have some settings already predefined. So my columns, all I want is item number, a part name, and a quantity. Uh, so this is very similar to what you would get in the regular solid edge draft coming from an assembly where it's uh, pulling in quantities from uh, the assembly. Now I just pull in quantities from draft. Of course, you can always rename these. Uh, obviously, I uh, did modifications on these already, so I'm just going to go say OK and accept my values. Uh, let's place my title block over here. And I had it set up to actually balloon them out. And I had it set to balloon with the actual name of the part. So uh, if you don't actually want the arrows on, you could turn those off. Not the jumper, the leader, there we go. So if you did want those, or uh, if you don't want those on, you can obviously place it without the uh, bill or without the balloons on. So again, I don't really know if you need that since it already has a block label attached to it. And uh, that uh, that is it. So if I, uh, again, let's, uh, let's do that. Let's copy and control Z. All right, you notice it doesn't update the list. It uh, would have to create another one. So let's easily do that. Just, this time, we'll do it without the balloons on and just go ahead and replace it with that one. So now we should have two boilers. Yep. And, uh, of course, the pumps, I didn't actually rename this as another block. I actually just, so that's why it's saying uh, pump quantity two. Uh, what I didn't do, I should actually create another block out of that to uh, actually create it to do it correctly to the bomb crate uh, comes out correct so that is uh, pretty much the solid edge 2d schematics uh, whether it's drawing your own blocks and making your own folders or just using the predefined archives uh, that solid edge uh, has ample ample different uh, simple or symbols in here to work with so hopefully this was useful and uh, appreciate your time thanks again for looking